Pencils and dreams can take you to the top of the horizons. It all started with a block of graphite, as in your pencil, and a piece of scotch tape. Back in 2004, after overcoming numerous challenges, two scientists were able to make a groundbreaking discovery. In 2010, they obtained the Nobel Prize. The birth of a wonder material was the beginning of a new world. Get ready for technology to be smaller, faster, curvier, invisibler, and more awesome than ever before. Welcome, Sahara Labasi. Graphene, future is here. Graphene is the first material that is two-dimensional crystal because it's only one atom of carbon thick. This makes it incredibly flexible, and if you stitch it, it can extend to 20% of its original length. Graphene is so thin, it only absorbs 2% of light. That's why that is almost completely invisible. We think of copper as being a very electric conductive material, but graphene conducts electricity even more than copper. The reason that graphene conducts electricity so well is that the electrons can move fantastically fast. So with the batteries of graphene, the charging time will be reduced to a few minutes. Because graphene is flexible, you can imagine a smartphone that you'll roll up like a newspaper. And because it's powerful, stronger, and at the same time it is lightweight, graphene can be used in space products including NASA spacecraft. Many methods can produce graphene sheets. Graphene is one of the results of nanotechnology research. It's a single atom of carbon bound in a hexagonal network. But if we zoom in graphite, we see that each moment of graphite consists of 3 million of graphene layers sticks together. We just need to exfoliate them. Take a strip of scotch tape and gently lay it down. Pick out a thin graphite flake, fold the tape at the edge of graphite, then gently peel it. And repeat this step multiple times. Transfer the scotch tape into a wafer and use an optical microscope to find a view of graphene. Now we will move to the synthesis of graphene oxide from graphite via Hammer's method. I advise you to be under supervision. Graphite powder, potassium permanganate, but we need its powder, sulfuric acid, hydrogen peroxide, and distillated water. After 3 hours of stirring all the ingredients, we will add 100 ml of distillated water instantly to oxidize the graphite if some left. In the final step, add 5 ml of hydrogen peroxide to stop the reaction. You have successfully synthesized graphene oxide via Hammer's method. The history of graphene, a roll of tape and dream. But unfortunately, it is extremely expensive to produce in large quantities. But physicists and researchers have placed a challenge to improve the quality of graphene to move the laboratory scope to the industrial level. But might graphene with its almost mythical quality be the resource that drives the next era of human history? We all know that revolution doesn't happen overnight. So, only time will tell.